from a perspective standpoint, how do you view being in a service-based business? How do you view selling? How do you view leadership? And I want to encourage each and every one of you to adopt the mantra of transformational leadership and transformational selling, which is choosing to see the world through the lens of, it's not about me, it's about you. It's not about me, it's about you. You need to be able to look every single prospect or every single client in the eye and say, it's not about me, it's about you. See, when you can lead your business and you always do what is in the best interest of the client, not what's in your own best interest, that's how you create real transformation. In other words, what I'm asking you to do is shift your focus off of what you want from people and shift it to what you want for people. I'm going to say that again because it is really important. You want to sell more homes? Shift your focus off of what you want from people and put it on what you want for people. Remember, you're in the service-based business. You are here to serve them. They're not there to serve you. And don't forget this adage, which is a, an absolute truism. A candle loses nothing by lighting another candle. If you're taking notes, write that down. A candle loses nothing by lighting another candle. Ultimately, that's the business you're in. You all aren't in the real estate game. You're in the relationship game. You're in the lighting candles game. And a candle loses nothing by lighting another candle. Now, if you ever need a reminder that it's not about you, I want to encourage you to have children. I'm the proud father of 13-year-old twin sons and an 11-year-old daughter. And last summer, I had the privilege of being in Las Vegas, and I was giving a really big keynote about this size uh, at the MGM in Las Vegas for a very well-known uh, franchise brand in the food and beverage space. And I decided to bring my sons, Luke and Jack, with me. I thought it'd be a great bonding experience, a good boys weekend. I wanted them to get a chance to see what it is that I do for a living when I travel. And I'm on stage at the MGM in front of a massive audience just like this, and I gotta be honest, I was in the zone. I was in the flow. I was absolutely killing it. You know, kind of like I am right now. There you go. And <laughs> that was a cheap trick, I'm sorry. <laughs> About midway through my keynote, I looked out at the table where my sons Luke and Jack were sitting, expecting to see them sitting up tall, hanging on every word I was saying, and beaming with pride. And instead, I see my son Jack dead asleep on the table, <laughs> and his twin brother Luke was building a pyramid out of my business cards. Neither one of them were paying a lick of attention to anything that I was saying. So like I said, if you ever need a reminder that it's not about you, just have kids. 